If you follow audiophile and hi-fi news, you've probably noticed that portable and ultra-portable tech has been moving really fast. And it's never been more clear how fast it's moving than with these last couple years of flagship portable DACs. Now, it might seem pretty crazy spending three, four, five hundred dollars on a dongle to plug your headphones into your phone. But the promise here isn't just plugging your headphones into your phone. It's basically transforming a phone, tablet, whatever mobile device you have into something that can compete with a flagship top of the line DAC. Can products like the Ibasso DC Elite deliver on that promise? What's up everybody, this is Steve from Bloom Audio. Today we're gonna to talk about the Ibasso DC Elite. DC Elite is part of this latest wave of dongle ultra portable DACs that are trying to become really competitive with a lot of the battery powered and larger units out there. So as we try to unwrap how DC Elite tries to balance this flagship tech with the simplicity needed for a dongle DAC. We'll take a closer look at what exactly it is, uh, who it's really designed for, and whether or not you should buy it. DC Elite is an ultra portable DAC that uses some of Ibasso's flagship technology, in including the DAC and the volume control from their DX320 Max unit. Like most devices in this form factor, it doesn't have an internal battery and draws power from your phone, which is gonna make you ask a question about how much is this really going to drain off my phone considering everything it has to power. And one of DC Elite's design goals was to reduce that power draw in the way that they implemented the DAC and the output. In addition, it can serve as a digital to digital unit that can take a USB input signal and output that via digital coax, which is a pretty cool added feature. One of the unique features of DC Elite in this class is its 24 step fully analog volume control. Now, that doesn't seem like a big deal unless you're really deep into this stuff. Now, the fully analog part is because digital volume controls uh, can actually eliminate part of the original signal at low volumes, which an analog volume control will not do, better preserving that signal for the listener. Uh, and the stepped aspect of it, an individual click for each volume level, can seem a little bit clunky. Uh, there are benefits there, most notably, it eliminates a lot of the potential for channel imbalances. And there are some other benefits there which are a little too deep to go into for this video. In terms of the basics of the sound, the tuning sticks pretty close to a neutral reference sound uh, with an emphasis on detail, clarity, and resolution. It's also very strong dynamics, which help add some engagement to what's otherwise, again, a fairly flat sound signature. In terms of specs, DC Elite uh, uses a ROM BD34301EKV DAC uh, that supports PCM up to 32-bit, uh, 768K, and native DSD up to 512K. Uh, the max output voltage from the balanced end is 4.6 VRMS, uh, which gives you about 280 milliwatts at 32 ohms or 70 milliwatts at 300 ohms. And for the unbalanced 3.5, you get 2.28 VRMS max and about 162 milliwatts at 32 ohms. The unit weighs 60.5 grams. So with all that in mind, leads us to ask, who is this for? At that $449 price point, DC Elite is gonna eliminate a good number of people who are shopping in this category right off the top. Uh, there's some really great cheaper options from like the Questyle M12i or Ibasso's own DC06 Pro uh, that are gonna work really well in this category at much lower prices. What we're looking at here is more someone who really wants to maximize what they can get out of a phone or tablet or potentially build a sort of end game flagship sort of system without adding extra complication to their lives or, you know, purchasing a 
flagship digital audio player. While Ibasso tries to use pretty much every trick in the book here to get the most power possible out of the device, it's still not going to be able to power most harder to drive headphones. You're gonna hit your limit with you know, harder to drive dynamic ones typically, and some of the easy to moderate to drive planars, like maybe a Hi-Fi Man Aria, uh, but you won't have that ability to drive really hard to drive headphones there. IEMs on the other hand are great here. The power management is going to give you a really quiet black background with pretty much anything. Uh, even with the most sensitive ones, there wasn't a noticeable background while listening, uh, though you, with a, you know, our current uh, super sensitive tester, the Campfire Audio Fathom, I was able to detect a little bit of noise at, with that one. While the simplicity, the design, and the sound quality means that anybody with $500 and a love of great music uh, can have a great experience with DC Elite, this is really more aimed at the audio purist. So if you are looking for a dongle DAC, should you buy DC Elite? If when I say fully analog volume control with a 24 position stepped attenuator, your reaction isn't, huh? Or uh, I hate how you kind of lose the sound for a second when it clicks on to the next volume level, but instead is, wow, I love how that preserves the original signal, eliminates channel imbalances, and also gets rid of the potential for impedance issues that are inherent with traditional linear pots, then this might be the portable DAC for you. When you're looking at some of the competition at that nearly $500 price point, you might start looking at things like the iFi Griffin, or the Questile CMA18 Portable, uh, which are battery-powered devices. And while DC Elite can't provide the same feature level of those devices, in terms of the pure plug-it-in-and-play-it sound quality, it's definitely uh, punching pretty hard against that sort of competition. In terms of dongle DACs in particular, uh, the one I was most interested to compare it against was the iFi GoBar Kensei. Now, the original GoBar I packed a ton of features into a tiny little device, uh, X-Base, X-Base, an IE match, some nice indicators and all of that. But I always felt the sound quality didn't quite match up to a lot of the really strong competition in this space. The GoBar Kensei takes all those same features, the same basic design, uh, really upgrades the look and feel uh, with the new casing and improves on the sound as well, making it one of my personal favorites and one of my picks for, you know, what would I buy for myself? In those design elements, I think each of these could be hit or miss for a lot of people. Personally, I always get nervous when I plug in the Kensei. I don't know where the volume's at, what I'm doing with the IEMs. I find that the device kind of wants to sit with the light facing down rather than facing up. So I can't see the volume indicator while I'm working with that. Uh, I just, there's a lot of tiny little paper cuts sometimes with the Kensei as much as I love the unit. Whereas on the flip side with the DC Elite, that stepped attenuator is not gonna be for everyone. I like the fact that it's a static, you know, volume control without the unit being on, I can turn it all the way down or up or wherever in between. I can get a better gauge on where that volume's going to be when I start playing without, you know, finagling the unit. DC Elite also had a lower noise floor when listening with IEMs, which eliminated the need for the IE match. Now, in terms of the tuning, like a lot of iFi's products, Kensei does lean a little warmer and has that X-Base feature in there to really let you lean all the way in to more of a bass head sound if that's what you're looking for. Where DC Elite, is offering a little bit more detail, better extension through the treble, and a little more clarity in the sound. So I think between these two, it's not so much about you know a direct comparison of one being better than the other. It really feels more like a lot of preference involved. Do you want the warmer sound of the Kensei? Do you want the smaller footprint? Do you want the X bass? Do you like the press buttons over the knobs? You know. Do you want that more of a vintage hi-fi look and feel, uh, that clicky stepped attenuator that's also giving you an analog volume control, which has those benefits we talked about. DC Elite seems to be more for the purist, uh, while Kensei 
uh, has its own charms as something that's gonna warm up the sound a little bit, maybe be a little more of a crowd pleaser. In the technology world, a lot of times I think of elegance as that simplicity in the way engineering and experience are connected. And I think that elegance is where my strongest praise for DC Elite comes in. It exhibits this elegance in implementing all this cool stuff that engineers can geek out about while just providing a simple, incredible experience for anyone who just wants to listen to music. Thanks for watching. You can check out DC Elite and a lot of other great products at bloomaudio.com. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll be back soon with more high-fidelity audio content.